Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jadine. And if you guys are not new, then of course, welcome back. If you are new, I hope that you guys do consider subscribing. Today, I wanted to show you guys how to make some DIY face masks at home from like an old shirt or like just an old piece of material that you have laying around. Because I live in New York and hair, we need masks to go outside, to go to the grocery store to go wherever it is that we are going and I don't have any. So I thought it would be a good idea to sit and learn how to make it and to show you guys how to do that too. And guys, keep in mind that all you would need to make this mask is pretty much like an old shirt or a shirt that you haven't worn in a long time. Just one that you're not gonna be wearing anymore. And if you want to be cute and like get fancy and use a cute shirt that you probably still would use but the mask is more important then that's fine too. But I feel like at this point, you know, we have we have we have really gotten to the point where we're going to have to make these masks ourselves if we want to have masks because you can't get them anywhere. And if you do find somewhere that they are being sold, it's being sold for so much more money than it would regularly be sold for. And I understand that, but I feel like if this is something that I can do at home by myself, then I'm definitely going to do that. Even if it meant that I'd have to cut up like a shirt that I'm wearing or like one of my favorite shirts just to make sure that I have something to put over my face to potentially protect myself when I'm going to the grocery store, then I'm definitely going to do that because um, health is wealth. Okay, and the way how this virus is killing people, I'm not trying to play. So guys, to begin with, you'll see where I'm trimming off the very end of the t-shirt that would have that part that's already hemmed because I'm not going to use that. As well as I could also use that later on for like the parts that go behind my ears. Now I'm measuring out like a one inch strip that I'm cutting off now to also use that to make the parts that are going to tie around the back of my head. Then I move forward to measure out how many inches I think would cover my face perfectly so that I can then cut that piece of material out of the t-shirt. And I'm folding the t-shirt three times because that's the amount of times that I could cut the t-shirt enough to cover my mouth and my nose comfortably. So which means that I could probably get a total of like six masks from this one t-shirt, which is good. So you see where I'm cutting the t-shirt up, cutting all the sections off and like measuring it on my face. I'm now going to go in with the one inch strip and cut off the ends so that I can get two pieces of string to go behind my head and I'm stretching them out so they roll because this is, it's a stretchy piece of material. So I'm stretching it so it folds nicely in the direction that I want it to go. And then I go in and I cut the material in two. So that's two masks already. So then I have my little bag with my needle and thread and like all the supplies that I'm going to need to get this done. And I'll pretty much go in and like string the needle and of course measure everything up to make sure that it's nicely lined up before I actually start sewing it. So that when I've sewn it, I don't have to take it back out because I've made a mistake. So that's what I'm doing right now and then I'll start sewing everything together. This two strings that I have right here that I had cut, I'm going to place them on the end of each piece right here. And then I'm going to fold it over like this over the string over the string and then these are going to be the parts that go like over your ears over your ears and then I'm going to stitch this right here because this is going to be the inside of the mask so I'm going to stitch that right now and you stitch this however you know how to stitch So y'all can't even see, but that is what one side looked like. I didn't want this part of the fabric to show, so I left this part to go inside. But I'm pretty much done sewing this section, and I'm going to use the same method to go back the other way. 
just so it's like secure, you know? So I pretty much put it through like that. And then all I do is in and out stitches. In and out, in, out. So pretty much like that the whole time to kind of fill in the areas that I didn't get before. And so this right here is one side. So just like that, I got one set of the mask done and I'm going to go in and make the other side and then I'm going to come back and try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Hi guys, and so now that I'm done sewing all sections of this, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put it on. So see, these are the edges that are sewn. They're not even perfect or anything. It's parts that are lifting, and this is the inside of the shirt where the Aeropostale was written. And so I'm gonna go in and tie one part behind my ear, up top hair, pull it down a little bit, pull on the strings, tie the other part at the bottom like right at my neck and that is it you guys, a nice little DIY mask that is keeping you safe and you have nothing to worry about, it's still breathable, it looks cute and it was very cheap, like it didn't cost you anything because right now what we're going through is a case where we can't find any masks to buy at the store and with me living in New York it makes me afraid and I don't have I think I have one well at this point I don't have any and if I'm gonna need something when I go to the grocery store I'm gonna have to make one because you can't find none on Amazon or none of those places so this is my little DIY mask out of an old shirt that I wasn't even wearing to begin with and I'm going to make a few other ones so that I have more than enough to wear, especially in a time like this. So if I have to go outside, I have something to wear and I can wash this every time I wear it and you know it's going to dry inside. So I'm going to make another one so I have options when it comes on to the masks. But I'm very pleased with this and if somebody was selling this, I probably would have bought it. So. This is something that you guys can do on your own while you're at home with old clothes and just some thread. I'm guessing that everybody has like a needle and thread at home that you could use to do this. I also just want to say that I hope everybody is staying safe and taking this seriously because this is something serious and you know you see a lot of cases where people are still hanging out and like not practicing social distancing and stuff like that and and I feel like these people may not take it seriously until somebody that they know or like somebody that is close to them is affected by this and that time then it would be too late you know so i really hope that you guys are taking the necessary precautions and making sure that in making sure that you stay safe and stay protected anyways you guys that is it for this video stay safe stay inside if you don't have to be outside and just take care you know take your vitamins drink your water spend time inside doing whatever it is that you do but stay away from the outsides please